And we, we went uh, last time at the temple of Dwarkadish. So the story there is uh, the temple is about 200 years old and originally the deity which is installed there it is uh, they self-manifested deity that's what they say and it was manifested in Gwalior near Gwalior. There was one Brahman at that time who was uh, uh, the army officer of some king there who were coming in the Sindhya dynasty. He found that deity he got a dream that Diti uh, came to him in dream and said that I'm here, you should uh, uh, take me out. And he took the Diti out. And then he, the, the Thakur himself said to him that you must go and uh, organize my worship in Drajan. So he brought the Diti first to Vrindavan and then there was very nice ceremony. Uh, uh, Abhishek ceremony took place at the bank of Jamuna. And afterwards there was some, uh, not conflict, but the people who were residing in Vrindavan they wanted the temple should be erected in Vrindavan and the Mathura people wanted that the temple should be erected in Mathura for Dwarkana. Then how to decide? So they wrote this petition on two different slips and threw those papers in front of the deities. And the one they said that whatever will be selected by the deity himself will do the same thing. So the deity selected that I should be installed in Mathura. So how could Dwarkana stay in Vrindavan? So he came here. That was the small history of that place. Prabhuji told some information about Krishna's pastime that for 11 years Krishna performed his pastimes in Gokul and then Nangram and other places. After that he came to this place to kill Kansa and he, huh? so he stayed here for about 14 years and his opening ceremony also was done in Mathura. Opening means the sacred threat ceremony it was done here because it was done there before. At that point, when after the sacred ceremony at Jagya, we all know that we are supposed to go and beg alms. So Krishna, when he was begging alms, so first he was supposed to go to his mother. So as soon as he uh, was supposed to go to mother, he thought of Yashoda Maya. And thinking of Yashoda Maya, he fainted at that spot. So seeing this, such a thick attachment for mother Yashoda and Nanda Baba, Vasudev and Devaki, they thought, oh, He's not forgetting about uh, his uh, earlier relationship, so we must do something to make him forget this. Otherwise, how he will become my son? So they made a plan and they sent him to Ujjain to study uh, under the guidance of Sandi Bani Muni. So there he <coughs> stayed there and he learned 64 arts in 64 days. And after pleasing his Gurudev, he brought him back to his son who had died. So that's how he pleased and served his Guru. And then he came back to Mathura and then again probably spoke about Uddhav, how he sent to Uddhav to Brajat and all things we know Maharaj has spoken many times. And uh, that's the small history of both these places. So now we'll go to our next spot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll speak there about that. <laughs>